Hey, good morning, friends. Um, today's story time is going to be uh, The Word Collector by Peter H. Reynolds and published by Orchard Books. I hope you enjoy it. Jerome collected words. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Certain words just jumped out at him. He collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page. Short and sweet words. Spark, bloom, drift, dream. Two-syllable words. Treasure, motif, whisper, candid. Hover, glimmer, and multi-syllable words that sounded like little songs. Kaleidoscope, guacamole, wonderful, geometry, symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, versiverous. Effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited for their meaning. Molasses, torrential, Tyrannosaurus rex, smudge, bellow. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day while transporting them, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collection had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words, Jerome began stringing words together, whisper, symphony, electric, peace, words he had not imagined being side by side, savor, dreams, cascading stars. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved. They delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon pick, packed with his favorite word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He saw children in the valley below scurrying about, collecting words from the breeze. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. Peter. Hamilton Reynolds. So I ask you, what new words have you learned this week? And what's a word that you can use to bring others joy? I hope you guys are having a wonderful spring break. Miss you.